Actually, uh, I must say that we are very happy of the results we obtain for our lower risk MDS patients because um, we have now the possibility to induce a, a, and obtain a transfusion independence in a very high proportion of patients. The, uh, the use of Luspatercept, uh, uh, that is an uh, um, activing trap molecule, has uh, demonstrated activity in inducing transfusion independence longer than eight weeks in around 49% of patients if you consider the long-term uh, um, uh, therapy with this drug. So this drug is given uh, subcutaneously every three weeks and the comparison with placebo indicated that uh, uh, patients really had a meaningful clinical advantage. Uh, 75 patients who uh, were treated and followed for a long time, almost six years, um, with, the, with, the, with the long follow-up though, um, after the first uh, consideration, so in an extension phase and then a rollover phase, they uh, obtain, as I mentioned, 49% of uh, a transfusion independence longer than eight weeks and 30% longer than 16 weeks. This is really, um, I want to reiterate, a, a meaningful uh, uh, objective that was uh, reached. And then uh, um, if you consider the patients who had a transfusion independence longer than uh, one year, which is uh, interrupted uh, transfusion independence, we also have observed quite a, a high proportion of this patient. Uh, among the ones who achieved uh, eight weeks transfusion independence, uh, almost uh, half of them had a long, such a long transfusion independence. This means that we are really uh, um, eliminating transfusion independence for uh, a substantial period for, for all of them. And I want to uh, just stress the fact that these were lower risk MDS patient with transfusion uh, de dependence and with ring sideroblast. So it's a specific subtype of MDS and uh, this is uh, what we have now with a long-term period follow-up, but um, uh, Luspatercept has been approved in the US also for first-line treatment, and uh, this is also for patients without ring sideroblast. So for all lower-risk MDS patients who, who, who experience transfusion dependence.